So, the Super Smash Bros. Switch reveal trailer explicitly revealed three characters. Inkling, Link, and Mario. And we've already explored potential moveset ideas for all three of them, including updating Mario for more modern times. But that's when I realized, hey wait a second, he has a brother that's also been in Smash Bros. since the very start, and is perhaps in even more dire need of a revamp. Yep, it's time to update Luigi. Because here's the thing, when Super Smash Bros. 64 came out back in 1999, Luigi was barely a character. He hadn't yet appeared in any mainline 3D game, nor in any Mario RPGs. He didn't even have a game to his name. Luigi was completely broke, personality-wise at least. The most we knew about him was that he was Mario's brother and apparently likes to breakdance. Thanks, Mario Party. Luigi was basically just a filler character to help pad out Smash Bros. roster, and it's probably for all of these reasons that Luigi started off as just a clone of Mario in Smash Bros. 64, only with a few tweaks and a floatier jump to match his appearance in Super Mario Bros. 2. Yeah, that's how far back they had to reach to find something uniquely relevant for Luigi. Now, although the developers have slightly differentiated him in subsequent Smash Bros. games with the addition of the Green Missile and whatever the heck this is, none of it is really reflective of the Luigi that we know today. Instead, it made him out to be a bit of a creepy weirdo. And that's really more of all Luigi's territory, isn't it? Calling the case of Waluigi versus Smash Bros. Not now, Judge Hand. Say what? I know, I know, I'm sorry, it's just now's not the time. But... but... Waluigi... Don't worry, we'll be back in your courtroom soon enough, Judge Hand. Anyways, things have changed a lot since 1999. Luigi's Mansion introduced us to a different side of Luigi. One who, though a bit of a scaredy cat, won't let that get in the way as he perseveres in search of his brother. As John Wayne said, courage is being scared to death, but saddling up anyway. And if that doesn't perfectly describe Luigi, then I don't know what does. And with Luigi's Mansion getting a sequel in 2013, and a remake of the original due later this year, it's clear that the Luigi of Luigi's Mansion is here to stay. So it's time to set things right and give Luigi and Smash Brothers a personality and moveset that he deserves, without completely upending the tea table and upsetting all Smash Brothers Luigi's current fans. But how are we going to pull that off? Well, I'll let the man himself answer that one. <laughs> Well said, Luigi. Point is, Luigi's Mansion not only gave Luigi a real personality, but also an entirely new set of mechanics involving the ghost-sucking Poltergust. And yeah, while it technically has already appeared in Smash Bros. as Luigi's final smash, it kinda sucked, and we think sucking should be at the very core of Luigi's Smash Bros. moveset. So, the Poltergust 3000 is obviously all about sucking things up. So, how do we incorporate it into Smash Bros. without making it too similar to Kirby or Wario's inhaling specials? Simple, we don't make it a special at all. Instead, it would be Luigi's grab. At close range, it would work like any other grab, immediately sucking anyone close enough right onto the nozzle. At which point, you can then expel them in any direction with the press of the control stick. But what would set it apart, of course, is that if someone's out of range, you can hold the grab button and use it as a vacuum, creating a vortex that pulls anyone caught in its path a bit closer. The effect would be weak at a distance, but stronger the closer that they are. So, this would make Luigi's grab incredibly unique in that it could function over time, as opposed to being a one-and-done type thing like with every other character. However, it would still have a time limit, working similar to how it did in the 2001 E3 demo of Luigi's Mansion, where the Poltergust would temporarily burn itself out if used for too long at once. So, yeah, it would be quite different from the usual grab. But that would be pretty fitting considering Luigi's Mansion is quite the departure itself. Okay, so the Poltergust vacuum ability is Luigi's grab. What about his specials? Well, Luigi's neutral special has always been a fireball, but unlike Mario's, his floats in the air instead of bouncing along the ground. And it just so happens that one of the Polar Gust's abilities was to, wait for it, spit out fire, along with a few other projectiles. So I think we can retain the exact same fireball function in Smash Bros., just with a new coat of Polar Gust paint to better tie it into a more modern Luigi. And we have another wild idea too, because in Luigi's Mansion, Luigi could suck up other elements too, like water and ice, and spit them back out. So what if the characters you grabbed could change your projectile's elemental type? Like, say, inhaling an ice climber would turn it to ice, whereas Greninja would change it to water, and Charizard back to fire. Even if it's just cosmetic, it'd be a super cool detail. But what about Luigi's side special being the green missile? Well, do you remember how Professor Egad would ride the Poltergust around in Superstar Saga? Well, we think Luigi could borrow that maneuver for Smash Bros., where he'd hop aboard and charge it up, before being propelled through the air like, well, a green missile. Again, it's the same basic move we're all used to, just with a more modern twist. They could even retain the same random backfire effect, 
which would tie perfectly into the idea that Poltergust burning out had used too long. So let's move on to Luigi's Down Special, which used to be the Luigi Cyclone. And this is where we think things can really be changed up for something far more unique. Because a key part of the Poltergust isn't just that it's a vacuum, but also a flashlight. And in Dark Moon, Luigi could charge it up to unleash a strobe light that would temporarily stun the ghosts. And we think the exact same thing could work here too. Charge up the flashlight before unleashing it as a strobe to temporarily blind and stun anyone close enough. Alright, so that's three specials down, leaving just one left. His recovery. Up until now, it's been Luigi's take on the Super Jump Punch, so we think it too deserves to be overhauled. But with what? After all, the Poltergust can't exactly fly, can it? Well, actually, it can, thanks to the Bulberries and Dark Moon. Luigi would just pop one on and fill it up with hot air to get some lift. And it'd be pretty great if Luigi hit a bicycle kick around in the air to get forward momentum. I mean, that is how he jumps, after all. And hey, while we're talking about balloons, they could mix it up even more and instead let him inflate the multicolored balloons from Luigi's Balloon World. And hey, he even wore a backpack in that game too. It almost makes too much sense. So that covers Luigi's specials, but what about his final smash? Okay, so this one's a little bit weird because his final smash is already based on Luigi's Mansion. But with his grab taking over sucking detail, we think it could be changed to reflect another aspect of the Poltergust. But what else could it be? Well, not only does a Poltergust suck, but it blows too. You know what I mean. And since Luigi's Mansion is all about hunting ghosts, like those 50 freaking boos hiding everywhere, what if Luigi's Final Smash reversed the capture process, with Luigi firing boos in every direction? We think it'd be a horrifyingly fun twist. Now, as for Luigi's more basic moves like the standard attacks, we think those can remain pretty much the exact same. Except maybe Luigi can knock people around to the end of his nozzle instead. <laughs> Alright, so that takes care of Luigi's moveset, but what about some of the smaller details? For instance, even though it may not be true to Luigi's Mansion, it'd be pretty great if Luigi's socks were exposed to some points, like during jumps, and it would reveal the same striped socks that he wore in the Mario & Luigi games. It'd be a fun nod to another one of his more famous appearances. And speaking of which, his battle dance animation from the same game would make for an amazing taunt. Another taunt could be his ghost capture animation from Luigi's Mansion. And finally, since we are basing this on Luigi's Mansion, which had an entire button dedicated to calling for Mario, Mario, Smash Brothers absolutely needs the same thing here too. Only now the implication would be that he's calling for Mario's help. But what if Mario's actually in the match beating on Luigi? Well, then it could be changed to an angry call instead. Mario. And there you have it, our ideas for how Luigi could be updated in Super Smash Bros. Switch, that's both more accurate to the Luigi we know and love these days, while retaining much of what people already love about him in the current Smash Bros. games. But what do you think? Do you think our ideas suck and blow? If so, then that means we're doing our job. And with that, thanks for watching, and of course make sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on Super Smash Bros. Switch and everything else Nintendo too.